hello everyone welcome to my channel automate with grish in this video we'll going to see how we can print star pattern using automation anywhere so this is the pattern that we will print in this video so i'll take the number of rows like 1 2 3 4 5 6 that will be dynamic and it will given by user only so for this first drag and drop step command so i'll use for value command from prompt package i'll give the window caption as Enter a I'll store it into S S and this is the string type variable so I'll drag and drop two number command string package to convert the string value into number value this into so once i have taken the input from user so for printing the star pattern we will use two loops so drag and drop step command Business logic. So I'll drag my first loop. And how many times this loop must run? So pass the number and input that is given by user, and I'll store the output in encounter and I'll again drag and drop second loop and I'll pass the same number and input that is entered by user and I'll store the output in encounter one and uh, I'll create uh, one second so first After this, I'll use a sign command from a string package to declare three variable, two variable. So one is star. Yes, star. And second is space. So I have given space here and I'll store the output in S space. I'll drag and drop this into a step command. Variable initialization. So here I will concatenate my second drop assign command and I'll concatenate. So I'll create one more variable, sample string. And 
in this i'll store nothing so this is used to concatenate the output so that we can print the output in message box and i'll store this in my store my output concatenate my output sample string with dollar s store the output in sample string only i will drag and drop the message box outside the loop so that we can get the output in a single click only so if i'll run my code till here it will ask me enter a number so i'll enter 5 so it's giving me stars but after five stars i have to bring the next star in next line and then next line so for this string package i'll use assign command so once this loop is completed then it it must enter but it must click on enter button so for that i'll concatenate sample string with enter button and I'll store the output in sample string so now I'll run my code If I enter 5, then it's giving me this. So we can see we are almost done with coding. So it's giving me this, but it's giving me some more extra stars. But we don't need that extra extra star. So for that, I'll replace that this with spaces so like here i'll replace these four stars with space and here i'll replace three stars with space so i'll do this so for this i'll give condition here if command I'll select number condition if dollar n counter this that this is one counter one this one if counter one is less than or equal to dollar n counter then only print star else print space so i'll replace star with space and i'll store the output in sample string only and now if i'll run my code and suppose user will enter 10 so it's giving you one two three so yes we are getting the output like this is the pattern that we wanted to print and the row count is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so whatever number number enter by user it will give me that much row count so we'll see the step by step like how it's executing so we'll drag and drop message box inside this loop and i'll run it once again
this time I'll enter fire. So it's giving me one and four spaces, then one, one, and then three spaces, then one, two, three, and then two spaces, then one, two, three, four, and one space, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So th this is the pattern that we wanted to bring. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.